Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my holiday favorites. As many of you will know, we just came back from our trip to Mexico, so I thought I would share some of the standout items that I really loved whilst we were there. I feel like I did pack fairly well, um, not everything that we used, uh, but the pieces which I'm kind of showing and talking about here today are those which, if I was gonna go again, like I would absolutely pack, and I just found it so incredibly useful, or otherwise just loved wearing and using. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get started. So first up, I wanted to talk bags, and in my first kind of iteration of packing, I was about to take like 10 different bags with me. We don't often go on a holiday, and I was just excited to use all of my holiday ready bags and some of my favorite styles because I knew we'd be going out to dinner every single night. But when I realized how much space that was gonna take up in my luggage, I did really, really pare it down. Um, so I took two dressier bags, um, one casual one, and then uh, two tote bags in addition to my luggage. I'd say that only four of those really got used, um, so I really only took one that was kind of extra and even then I did use that um, but I thought I would share this especially for anyone who's also planning a trip away. I don't know about you guys, but I felt very, very rusty when it came to packing. Like I just, it'd been so long since I'd been on a holiday like that or really any holiday at all that I was like, what do I pack? How much do I pack? So I thought hopefully this might help some of you who had also forgotten how to pack for a holiday like this. So by far my two most used bags were my two clutches. So basically one fancy one and one inexpensive one. The pouch is a Lululemon one that I got for Christmas. Dan's mum was nice enough to give me a gift voucher. I got this using the gift voucher. I think I actually got it on sale. It's a really simple, just kind of Lulu pouch. So you have a wristlet and then uh, two zipped openings right there. It doesn't have to be this one though, like any inexpensive pouch would do, but this was so crazy useful because, you know, during breakfast and just generally during the day, you know, going to the pool, grabbing a drink, grabbing a coffee, going to lunch, I didn't want to take anything too fancy. You know, often this wasn't particularly looked after. You know, I had some things spilled on it. It was lying out in the sun. So I didn't want to be taking my Fendi pouch. I also took my St. Laurent wristlet. Those just wouldn't have been suitable. Whereas this was absolutely perfect. You know, I was able to keep some cash inside for tips, our room key, some sunscreen, my sunglasses, and that's really all I needed, but it was too much just to carry in my hands. So this was perfect. So I would 100% recommend getting something similar, just something really inexpensive. You're not gonna worry about if it gets marked up. You know, I do have a few marks here and there, but it was so perfect for what I need. And I'm so, so glad I brought this with me because I don't know what I would have done without it. Then I did bring two fancier clutches. I brought my Saint Laurent clutch and then also my Fendi pouch. I did use both, um, but really I could have gotten away with just using this one. I'd say I used my Fendi one probably 80 to 90% of the time. Um, it was pretty much my daily or my nightly bag. It was exactly what I wanted um, because it's raffia, it went with pretty much everything. It's a good size and again, I didn't need too much. It was an all-inclusive, so it was really just cash for tips. Again, room key, maybe some lipstick, a little brush, like that sort of thing but it was just perfect. The fact that it was so neutral is just perfect because I was able to team it with everything and not really have to worry about it being too matchy-matchy. Uh, and as I said, I definitely could have made do with one. I was happy I had my white one. I did wear it a couple of times, um, but this one was by far my most used and just generally a really great useful clutch. As for larger tote bags, I did take my Chloe Woody tote, and this was the one I actually kind of traveled with, so this was what I brought to and from the airport. I also used it a couple of times. We did leave the resort, and this is what I used as my day bag and it did really great, you know, it was very, very functional, I could fit a ton in, very comfortable, even as a travel bag, like it worked really well, very easy to access, it wasn't too cumbersome, and I just loved it, like it was really, really useful. Um, usually I would take something probably a little bit bigger than this in terms of travel bag, but it worked out great, um, but at the same time, it wasn't so overly big that I felt silly using it as like a daily handbag. So very happy I decided to take this with me. Um, yeah, just a really, really functional tote that worked equally well as a travel bag as it did as a daily bag. And then the other bag that I really kind of got a lot of use out of that I'm so glad that I took was my newer Anya Hein March uh, beach tote. And again, this is more kind of symbolic. It doesn't have to be this one. Any beach tote would do. But this was just so useful. We did go to the beach a few times, but even when we were just lying by the pool, this was so useful for when I did need something a little bit bigger than my pouch. I wanted to bring some magazines, you know, maybe a bottle of water, anything like that. I was able just to use this to stick a whole bunch of items in. 
and it just did the job. You know, it wasn't overly fancy. Um, obviously it's more expensive than your normal kind of beach tote, um, but it wasn't so crazy pricey that I worried about getting marks on it or anything like that. Very, very functional. It was neutral enough that Dan didn't mind carrying it either. You know, it wasn't super pink and fluffy or anything like that and it just did exactly what I wanted it to do. Often I would also just use my pouch and pop that in here as well, so that kind of also acted as a wallet, and it was just really perfect. So I would definitely recommend um, if you are debating how much to take and how many styles to take. We went on a two week break and I found that that was kind of perfect. So a casual pouch, a dressy clutch, and then one to two tote bags. You could probably get away with just one if you wanted to, um, but I did like the combination of both. Hats are next and I took two with me and I got a lot of use out of these both and I'm so happy I took both. I think any more on this probably would have been overkill for me um, but I use these pretty much on a daily basis. I think I use this one a bit more in our first week and then I use this one a bit more in our second week um, but these are perfect in terms of everything that I needed. So this one is kind of um, a bit more of a short rim. It's not overly short though, like it's got just enough coverage but this was a bit more practical in terms of just not a super, super large sun hat. I wore this when we left the resort I also just wore it kind of to breakfast and things like that when I did want a little bit of sun protection but I didn't want anything too huge and statement making it's just a really really useful everyday hat so I've had this one for I think it's over a year now um, I've worn it quite a few times actually and it's just a really nice kind of classic example not too much really flattering and I just love it so would highly recommend if you're looking for something of more of like a daily style I also have this one which is a Eugenia Kim style I've had this for a few years I've not gotten a lot of use out of it at all so I'm very very happy I was finally able to get a lot of use out of it this holiday and it's just fantastic and um, these come with a bunch of different sayings so this one says beach please and just a really lovely floppy hat and it is really wide as well so you do kind of get that more glamorous look but it's also really practical you can kind of mold it any which way you want so you can get a nice amount of sun coverage no matter which way the sun is facing really useful if you know if you're reading if you're trying to look at anything and you don't want a lot of sun in your eyes I pretty much always wore this with some sunglasses when we we're out sunbathing and it did a fantastic job of protecting kind of my face and my eyes from the sun I just loved it it's really comfortable to wear you know fairly glamorous and just a really really gorgeous hat so very happy with both and these were just so essential for me in terms of sun protection and speaking of sun protection I wanted to mention the SPF that we use so this is a new one that we tried out for the trip and this is the ultra sun SPF 50 extreme I'd never tried it before but it did have very very good reviews and it really did a job I would say this isn't the one to go for if you do want to get a bit of a tan because it literally blocks everything out as I said we were there for two weeks and I feel like I barely got a tan because this was so effective I do take my sunscreen really seriously though I freckle very very easily and Dan burns very easily indeed. He was a bit mad at me because he did want a bit of a tan and this really didn't allow for that to happen so it really depends on how um, serious you want to go but if you are very sensitive to the sun then this is just absolutely incredible. If you guys watch my vlog then you know I did get a little bit burnt um, right on my chest and that's because I didn't apply it but that will hopefully give you an idea of the job it did do because that was just for a few hours out in the sun. I applied it for the rest of the trip and we didn't get burnt at all so so very, very effective, perhaps too effective depending on your vantage point. Um, if you want something very, very heavy duty, then this is definitely a good one to check out. Uh, next up is a bikini favorite and I did take a whole bunch of different swimsuits so I had been buying for this trip for gosh quite a few years because this is actually technically our very very delayed honeymoon. We have rebooked this trip I think it was the fourth time and we ended up going on the fourth time and um, due to Covid we were already late in taking it because of work and then we had it scheduled for the August when Covid really hit and the lockdowns hit, had to cancel, we rebooked several times to different places and it kept getting cancelled so I'm very glad that we finally were able to go um, but because of that I had spent a long time shopping because every time we booked it I went shopping and then we just never ended up going so I bought a lot of swimsuits but every single time I went to reach for a different one I usually ended up going back to this one because I loved it so much so this was actually just one that I got a month ago and it was so great and not only was it very cute I thought I love the fact that it's just a really kind of classic simple design very very flattering as well but it's also very supportive so it was really great for just kind of sunbathing but even if you're doing anything you know a little bit more heavy duty so we went jet skiing one day I was a bit concerned about whether a bikini would stay in place decided to go for this 
this one and it was just fantastic. It didn't move, very comfy and just pretty much everything I want in a bikini. So would highly recommend. I do like the fact that you can buy them as separates as well. I know some people don't like that, but for me, if they just come as like, you know, purchasing it as one or two piece, then they almost always don't fit because I am bigger on the bottom than I am on the top. So the fact that I can get a good fit with the two different sizes, is fantastic. And I just love this. So I would highly recommend if you're after a good bikini, as I mentioned, I brought a lot with me and I pretty much always went back to this one because it was so fantastic. Next up are some favorite jewelry picks. And I did bring quite a few different jewelry pieces to Mexico. I have some costume jewelry in a second, but I wanted to mention these studs that I wore literally every single day on the trip and every single day since then. So these are the ideal ones that I showed in a video. I guess it was January now, um, but I have just been so obsessed with these. Um, I mentioned how much I love them then, but they are so, so beautiful. So the ones that I've been wearing every day are just the simple stud ones. So the simple stud on one ear, and then on my right ear, I wear the ear jacket one. And the one I go for most is this simple stud one. I also have the multi-stone one, but this is the one that I've been wearing most, just because I feel like it strikes the right balance between, you know, very simple and classic as an everyday stud, but with just like a little bit of added interest, they still feel a little bit special and different and eye-catching but not so crazy that you can't team them with literally everything so I literally wore these every single day without fail I wore them during the day I wore them to dinner as well I've also been wearing them ever since I just cannot get enough I cannot remember the last time I was this excited about a pair of earrings like I just don't seem to get tired of them and they pretty much haven't left my ears either in Mexico or in the UK I've just been loving them so much and then the two kind of more fashiony costume drawer pieces that I loved um so one was this beautiful beautiful bracelet and this has these beautiful little kind of dangly uh, turquoise stone bits really really fun I love this because I kind of felt like it matched the sea and the sky in Mexico they had the bluest sea ever like it was so so beautiful I just thought this was absolutely stunning really really dainty and fun the color was so vibrant and beautiful and just a really lovely holiday piece it is definitely a bit more of like a summery vibe so hopefully the weather will turn nicer here as well and I'll be able to make a lot of use of it here too um, but for holiday it was just absolutely perfect the detailing was so pretty and I just thought it was the loveliest thing and then the other piece which I absolutely love so I actually wore this I don't think I got a picture of it but I took my uh, black shorts that I wore so much last year just teamed it with a simple black cami I wore some heels with it and then I teamed it with this because it was quite a simple outfit so I wanted a little bit of statement jewelry and I love the look so much it is such a pretty locket so it is a kind of proper locket and it is a bit more of a statement piece the detailing on it is so beautiful though so the actual pendant I think I think it could be dark blue or maybe black it's difficult to tell but it's very very dark either way it has this beautiful pearl detail right in the middle it does open up so you can wear it as a proper locket if you want to and it's on a fairly long gold chain it's not kind of super super crazy long but it's definitely more of like a statement necklace but I thought this was gorgeous it just added just the right amount of interest to my outfit and I just thought it was so cool looking and I just love the look of the pendant I think it's so pretty in terms of shoes, I only brought one pair of heels with me and I had, in my initial round of packing, I had four different pairs of heels and I really tried to cut things down and travel as light as I possibly could. Um, so I decided to get rid of all the other pairs and just go for these, which are my kind of tried and tested holiday shoes and they work just great. I wore these every single night. I think there was one night that I wore flat sandals and every other night I wore these and they were just great. Um, I definitely need a replacement pair now because, wow, these are looking very, very dirty and worn, um, but they're just fantastic. I've spoken about them so many times before, but if you've not tried them, would highly recommend. They are so comfy, even when it's really kind of hot and sticky, I am still happy to wear these and they're still so incredibly comfortable. And because they are that kind of clear perspex, they go with literally everything. So I love these before, love them even more now. They just don't get old for me. And then finally, I thought I'd mention one of my favorite dresses from the trip and I did pack a lot. I did pack a different kind of fancy dress outfit for every single night we were there. A lot of them are unfortunately out of stock because as I mentioned, I have been shopping for this trip for quite a few years. So a lot of them aren't available anymore. Um, a few of them are kind of newer pieces, but by far my favorite out of all the new items I got 
was this dress, which I just thought was the funnest, funnest thing. You probably saw me wear it if you watched my vlog, but I just loved it. I thought it was so festive and it's not Mexican or anything like that, but I love the print. I love the kind of cut of it. It was just a really easy mini dress. It has all these cute little ruffle details, really fun and flippy. And I just felt great in it. You know, it was very easy to wear. I just teamed it with a flat pair of sandals. I popped on a kind of corally red lip some hoop earrings and it was just really easy, really fuss free and it was just a very, very fun dress to wear. So such a huge fan of this. I just absolutely loved it to bits and thought it was just the loveliest, most perfect holiday dress. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I can in the description section below. Not everything here is new as I mentioned, but where I can't find the exact item, I will try and find something similar. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give us a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.